Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series, and in this sub series, we will see how to create our own custom performance counter. So, in this video, we will learn the basics of performance monitor tool. So, whatever you are seeing here, that's the performance monitor tool, and in this sub series, we will create our own performance counter. So the tool will display a performance counter graphically and the tool has the capability of capturing the same information in log file as well. So Perfmon is the tool which is used to measure system and application performance. The measuring factor here is what called performance counter. So performance tool or performance tool will operate on the performance counter. There will be various performance counter available in the OS itself. And on top of that, if you need, you can create your own performance counters. So when we talk about performance counter, say for example, let's say uh, CPU is utilized by all the running application in the background. So if you want to uh, check how much uh, CPU is utilized over the period of time, then you may be using a performance counter. Here the performance counter is for percentage CPU usage. So the percentage will be keep on changing like 40%, uh, 25%. 10, 35, 40, like that. So over a time period, the consumption rate may change. So that is recorded by the performance counter, CPU percentage usage. So that counter can be visually seen using the performance tool. For example, the CPU usage is one of the factor for system performance and that can be measured using the performance counter. There are various other counters to measure CPU performance and one example is a processor time. So CPU performance itself can be uh, tracked using a different kind of a performance counter. When we go to the tool that time we can see how these counters are grouped over the uh, processor. There are a different set of counters that is grouped under a process. That means there you are uh, tracking the performance of your process. So like that there will be various parameters and inside that uh, parameter there will be uh, various counters grouped. All right. So processor time tells how busy is a CPU over time. Just now we saw that. So in this uh, sub series, we will create our own performance counters and it will give you an idea of how one can create custom counters to measure their application performance. So first we will see what is the uh, inbuilt performance counter. We will have a quick uh, um, preview of those then you will get an idea of what is a performance counter and then we will see how to create our own performance counter and that performance counter will uh, record application activity now let's see how to invoke performance counters So you can invoke performance counter using Perfmon. Okay, so in our start menu, you have to type Perfmon and run the Perfmon. Here we will be seeing the tool performance monitor and once you double click monitoring tool performance monitor, you will be seeing a graphical display here so by default if you see it is measuring a percentage processor time 
over the period. So if you see, this is given in terms of uh, percentage and you can visually see in uh, graphical trend that uh, the usage is uh, 27 here at this uh, cursor location and after that it came down so 9% likewise you can check the counter now let me delete this and when you click add button you will be seeing the add counters dialog box in the add counter dialog box you can see there are various measurement parameter so .NET CLR, .NET CLR memory so these are all the different groups so here if you see there is a two group one is process and another one is processor if you expand this group you will be seeing various counters so this is the percentage processor time percentage user time likewise there will be various counters similarly under the process if you see you can measure the so this one read io bytes per second so if your application is doing a read and write operation on the disk file you can measure that and if it is a network transfer you can try that as well and private byte private byte is nothing but um, the memory allocated on the heap so people usually use this private byte to detect the memory leak for a specific process so once i click private byte here you can see the running application so if i open notepad plus plus here or here I just opened notepad exe so the process is not displayed here we will open it again processor not process and we like to check uh, private byte usage here I just typed in and you can see the notepad process then you can click add that means here the added counter is private byte private byte for the instance notepad so once you click OK, you can see the private byte conception is shown here. So for your application, if your application is allocating lot of memory in the heap, then you can check uh, uh, how the memory is allocated and released over the period of uh, time. So it just uh, gave you an idea and if you want to add uh, further more counters you can uh, still uh, do that say so for example i'm randomly picking dot uh, net uh, clr memory from this so these are all for uh, garbage collectors so gen one collection so there is some application called uh, a green shirt I'm just adding that and added counter will be shown here scale is 0.1 at this moment and if you multiply this scale with some factor you can see the graph is coming in the display area so if you want to change the scale you can go to properties then scaling factor you can multiply that 
so to know that you have to know what is the actual value it is uh, picking uh, from the gc collector based on that uh, you can display the counter now let's uh, add some more here before that let me go to task manager click on the performance okay users green shot it's showing at 13.6 that may be a base memory options Okay, here I just uh, click the details uh, tab and uh, here you will be seeing uh, memory private working set and it shows uh, 13.956. So, processor, and then process private byte let's choose the same green shot g add okay here if you see it just gone on top and sitting there that means you need to multiply that with some scaling factor to bring that down so the scale is from 0 to 100 so if we want to bring it down maybe i have to divide this by uh, 1000 there are three digits right so uh, let me pick green chart i just click the down arrow then right clicking that choosing properties and applying the scaling factor of Three zero right apply So the scaling factor of 3040 not working it's because so here it is k right that means 1 2 3 k means 1000 and we need to try with the 60 scaling so we will go to green chart and properties 3 4 and this is a 6 apply and you can see now we brought the green chart to this range so this way you can monitor if it uh, uh, increases in uh, private uh, bytes so you can change the axis scaling factor also and you can check that within a particular range if you want and if you see here both both the performance counter private byte is ranging from 20 to 40 so if you want to see that uh, you can go to properties graph and in the vertical scale let's uh, go with uh, 25 maybe we can choose minimum and maximum maybe it will be within 40 or if you need you can put uh, 42 apply and you can see the scaling factor is applied and this way you can monitor the 
private byte and there are various stuff you can check the running speed all those stuff you can check here so duration sample every one second if i if i increase it to uh, 5 the update frequency will get reduced for every 5 second you will be seeing a, a counter movement so just play around that here if you see this is what called the performance counter and here processor is the group and whatever you see inside is the counter and now we are going to see how we can add our own counter so just now you saw the demo thank you for watching bye